How's it going everybody? We are chopping corn today. I am waiting at the top of the hill. We got eight loads done so far. I've been... Yesterday we started, we did five loads and it kind of was good but bad. Um, you know, things went good, things went bad. Um, it was a, just our first day out. I mean, new chopper to us. Um, new wagons. The blower's new. Um, the silos we've never used before, so we had to set that stuff up. Um, it yesterday was uh, wouldn't say a fun day, but it was fun because we got started. Uh, today is going pretty well. I've done three loads. I'm waiting for my fourth one. Uh, we had to work on the chopper this morning and the other gale wagon that we just got. Um, nothing bad. Uh, the chopper, it's been. It'll chop pine. And then you'll turn the pipe and the head will turn off. That's got an electrical control box on it. So there's some wire that's goofed up. We thought we found it this morning. Can't find it. Um, and then reverse doesn't work. We shouldn't have any metal out here. Um, granted, we didn't. I planted everything. I went over every little square into this field. Um, I didn't lose anything off the planter. Uh, we sprayed with it. The sprayer did not lose anything that we know of at least and um now we're chopping it i don't think we'd have an issue if we did get something caught in it metal wise maybe it, it would be anything it's something small um other than that i think we're gonna be fine we're gonna chop the way it is i'm using the loader to haul wagons up the whites on the blower um i did run the massey on the blower um it did fine but you couldn't really go fast with the wagons but uh, I'll get a clip. my dad coming up, come up the hill right now with the chopper loaded. So you can see down there, that's what we got done so far. He's doing one pass around to one load. And he's hauling them up here for me. And we're using that small style of concrete there. So we're just running up the grass here, kind of on an angle. Uh, just enough for this to handle. These wagons are heavy. Um, we should really have like another tractor on a bigger tractor on this, but we don't have one I'm not renting one and it's doing it just fine. So it's working out well. We'll just kind of go through the pasture and Put the thing right on. So here's my Myers wagon if anybody's not seen it before no roof on it 18 foot tandem uh, I got a smoking deal on this thing. And there he is coming up the hill with a gale wagon that's a 790 um, chopper. Not sure what the head is, but um, you can figure that one out yourself. Here we are, feeding the Gale Wagon. As you see, we're getting into it. My neutral doesn't work. My low, I think neutral is my low, but I have high. So I'm like, I'm not right on neutral. And, uh, what I've been doing is kind of just sitting up here. And if I think it's eating a little too fast on her, I'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, she'll eat it right up, no issues. On it right down. And I'll just click that button if I think it's eating too fast. Yeah, there we go. Kill 
1540 blower, Myers TS500, 1455, 105. Getting after today. We are up on the silo we're filling. Uh, we got round load number 10. We got rained out, so I got one more to unload. Brutally windy up here. Um, I think we're on door number eight. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve more to go. Um, we're filling up pretty quick. I'll get a shot of the corn here in a second. Um, yeah, so I'm working on the unloader or the loader here. I'll show you what I'm working on. So if you look down, there's no corn over here. Very little, very high over there. And a lot more over here than there is over there. So, what I was working on, this was flipped way over to here. And you can see all the corn there. No corn on the other side. So I moved that over. Um, and then our flipper here, which goes, the cable goes way down there, um, does not, let that go down enough, so I had to grease up all these hinges, plaster them all up. So that should be working now to fill this inside. That being said, this right here was absolutely frozen, which controls that. It's still frozen, but I gave it a couple of whacks with my hammer. If you're wondering how I got that up here, we did all that. Other than that, I think we should be good. I'm gonna wait up here. My dad's gonna grab the 11th wagon way over there and uh yeah here's the view we got working with um uh, from the top of the silos if you know uh where i live you'll know where i am um you could see us actually from over on that ridge over there so yep unloading that uh, I'm gonna wait up here while this goes down just to see how it goes and get a cool video for you guys. It is currently pouring rain right now. I'm just pulling the wagon up. Awfully windy and cold. And that front is rolling in. And he's never pulled up the floor before, so we'll see how this goes. This one's got a nice unloader uh, hand on it, so works out well. Well, I know what you're going to say. Why is the mower hooked up? Uh, we are doing a custom job for 30 acres. Uh, yesterday we got rained out. Um, dropping corn, as you've seen in the last clip, probably. Um, we had this lined up for a couple of days now. Um, and that worked out perfect because it's too wet this morning to go in the field. So we'll mow here, uh, get this done. It's around 7.30 now. It started about 7, fourth pass in. Uh, so we're going to hammer down this, we're running my mower today, and uh, I think we'll hook the chopper up later and we'll see what we can get done. Maybe we can get another couple loads out and hopefully by Friday we should be all done. Well, here we are, running second gear, beating it to our, um, I'm not sure what the moisture is, don't ask me. Um, it looks good, I'm chopping it. Um, the top is dry, the bottom is dry, the centers are moist. The corn is a little bit dented um, for moisture there. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. Got the 9, uh, 970 gale wagon on. Um, just beating it right to her. You can see, like skip there couple skips here and there. It's better actually on the inner rows than most of the outer ones. Might be, this is my second load ever chopping corn. If you think I'm terrible, I'm 
good for you. Uh, I don't care. I'm going to give her hell. And uh, yeah, getting after it out here. But 790 is doing pretty good. I will say, it is just gobbling itself right up. Without a question to it. Not really sure. I think I'm on. I'm on the inner roads now, but uh, to be honest, with you, I'm not entirely sure. See how this kind of goes. Uh, my roads are awfully straight. I'm actually completely pleased with how they came out. I'm not sure at all. I just turned to something bitter, and I can't just go straight. But, uh, because I mowed hay this morning, I can at least hold this gun on three lines, but... A lot of the stalks have, uh, two years, or two or three years on it. So, if we're going for kernels here, we would do really good. I like to see there, it skips. This back end got a lot of crop damage on it. But, uh, gear, and it's just so packed down here. It's kind of hard. Uh, around the corner here, it gets a little wet, so we're going to just see how this goes. Well, we were on the mower this morning, now we're chopping. Finished all the outside passes, as you can see. Um, this is load number 12. Um, I'm also keeping this documented for myself, so I know. First load for the day, it's right around 1. I would say I finished mowing at 12, but I'll hook this thing up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna fill the other wagon up, get some clips of that. I'm looking at it now, and I think we should be able to hammer this out. Um, most of it today, I'm not sure my dad is, so uh, that would be handy if he was here. Um, get most of this done today, hammer the rest out. Uh, not tomorrow, I got spread chicken manure tomorrow. My dad won't be here. Thursday and Friday, we should be able to get this done. I don't think it'll take super long to do all this. I think there's a little bit of hope here. So today's Tuesday. Uh, I took some clips uh, before. We have about, uh, let me get my pointer straight. Uh, that's done. Uh, oh my God, this is painful. The other section over there, that's done. What's in the center there? That needs to be done. Uh, it is about 6.15 right now. It's going to be dark here pretty soon, as you can see. This wagon's done for the day. Um, just going to unload the last one. We don't have any lights around the uh, silos and too many shafts rolling around. Um, it's not worth it. We'll be done Thursday. Um, the rate we're going. We snapped a master link on the chain. Well... It fell off, and then the chain kind of just popped right off. Um, so we went over to the mechanic shop down the road, got one to fix it, and one to spare just to throw in the toolbox, because I know next year it'll be a Sunday, or 10 years from now it'll be a Sunday afternoon, and, you know, can't get one. You know, none of the neighbors will have one. You know, it's supposed to rain the next week, and for the $11 that it was, you know what? I might not ever use it. Maybe the next guy will. Or maybe there'll be another one that I have and, you know, I'll use it. So, yeah, this is load number, this will be number 19. This tractor's pulling them just good up the hill. Um, I'm not breaking any uh, speed records. I'm, I won't pull it up the hill down here. I don't trust it. Um, I'm not rolling back down if you've ever driven one up the hill and it had it hop, skip, and jump and roll backwards. It's not really ideal. I already slid this thing sideways and jacked nice one wagon. We're not going to talk about that. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? It's not meant for the job. It works. I would love to have uh, another 44 to haul wagons with, but not in budget. Um, for three days out of the year, it's hard enough to justify having two wagons and a chopper and a corn planter for the other two days of the year. I just, this stuff's so expensive to grow. The tonnage is great. Um, you know, I could do 12 acres and I could feed all my cows. I could probably feed them for the next two years with what I have. 
Um, I like to grow my herd. Um, so that's why I planted a little more. Um, and this was already corn as you watched my planting video. So I didn't have to really till anything up. Um, the plan is to put plow that under. Uh, put corn, well, plow it under. Speed harrow it. Because I like how that does. Seed that down and plant something else into uh, corn, which I think we're going to do right next to it. Uh, the corn is over there. We're going to go right there on that field. Not the tail, way out there. You have to turn my arm. I can't do that. You understand what I'm saying. I hope so. If not, well, uh... Some people might know my property who've been here. Um, some other people don't, so it's kind of hard. Um, that piece way out past the corn out there is called the tail. 13 acres, 12 acres, 8 acres, 8 acres on that side. Um, the hillside, I think there's like 10 here, 10 on this side. And I don't know what's up there. And then there's another 15 over there. So total, there's uh, 80 acres of ground up here.